Who's trying to get it? Jay's gonna Jay is gonna have to work uh, just a little bit harder just to get into the top 32. I think if he really just pushes through that loser's bracket as well as I know that he can against, I believe it'll either be Flarg and or uh, and or Dirge. Dirge? So one of the other so matchups he's either very familiar with or Flarg. I think a person that he does have a very good record against. So I think a, 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 as seated anyway, that's how it's expected to go. I really hope Masato makes it. I I, I have the feeling Masato is definitely going to make it out through winner's side. Yes, I think certainly. I have faith that you know the Lindy the Lindy kids today are going to tear it up and represent Def represent the town. Definitely very uh very possible for it to happen. However, that that pool is absolutely Beastly. terrifyingly stacked. I mean, let's take a quick look at it right okay, here. Here we have Masato and Light. Light. This is the number one seed in the pool. The Fox main from Connecticut. Third uh third. No, I think second place in doubles today, actually. Um, it was Light and... Light and Ling Ling, Ling, Ling. the Peach main from Connecticut as well. And um, really, Light is just... You can see the contrast between the style of Foxes between him and the Kill Sage. It becomes so difficult um, to really, when they playing the Ditto, to realize who's going to be the aggressor a lot of the time. Because while um, Fox is tend to be noted as, the, as an aggressive character, the Kill Sage, a bit more on the defensive side. The New York style of play, generally speaking, defensive. We have the top players that we have. We have the likes of Numbers, DeBuzz, E, Dill. E, e, I would still consider probably the exception to the rule. He is a bit more on the aggressive side. Same with Anti, a bit more on the aggressive side. How about side. Vinny? Vinny, I would say, is a more, more defensive player. I think, his, again, Sheik kind of um, lends itself to defensive play. I think he's more aggressive than, let's say, a, a Dill. Um, Frozen, no, I wouldn't say an overly aggressive player. Shinji, most certainly a defensive uh, player. Overall, that's the New York style of play, and like contrast that with a Connecticut style they're not playing on Smashville. Um, of course. The, um, well, actually, no. They might be playing on Smashville, but Masato button currently check. has Ralphie's tag. Yeah. Um, which is why it is important to button check, people. Oh, yeah. Very important to button check. But I was saying earlier, the contrast of play between um, uh, Light and the Connecticut and New York in general is the Connecticut play is known to be overly aggressive. Players like Light, players like Mars are excellent examples of that. Where they are always going to be right on top of you, right in your face, just out of range of your attacks, but just enough in range that can punish you for you for you hard. And we're going into game one on Smashville. Bayo versus Fox. Predictions for this matchup. Um, I do think that Bayonetta does have a slight edge over Fox. However, the disadvantage state for Bayonetta can be tough. Once Fox gets a single read, nice little grab there on the on there coming in. And here we see Light. Going in. Another up tilt and a fair. Wow, what Good a fair reset. conversion. Almost getting that second fair up air to end the stock. Not quite enough just yet. Light still has not taken a single hit of damage. And, and here Light takes it. comes with a quick up smash on the roll read, taking 0% so far. JP3 with a question mark? Can we see this? Okay, with Bayonetta, very difficult to get that with all the bullets that she has to be thrown at you. However, Light is someone who is no stranger to absolutely destroying his opponents in quick fashion. However, right there, getting a little bit of percent there was Masato. That run speed on Bayo, however, hurting him there, not getting past Fox in time. See the up B. Trying to carry him off stage. Try Maybe Masato is going to try and get these gifts instead of going for these patents and up airs. Side B's to up B's to side B's to up airs. Right, and really, what makes Bayonetta so uh, potent in the matchup is the gifts that gimp? she gets on Fox. No. This is a melee. We don't see no shine spikes. No shine spikes. However, a nice little shine right there. Just to get him a little bit further off the stage. And wait, a conversion Let's go, by Masato. Going to bring him right back into this set. A little bit of rage on Bayonetta actually will help her out here. However, can't be that. Just got to be, be very careful for that one hard up smash read that Light can probably, that, that Light is looking to score. Right, you have to be Any so... Any smash attack basically will kill except down smash, I think. Uh, you have to be so cautious against Fox because he is so good at catching landings. And while Bayonetta is, again, very good at getting back to the ground, oh my goodness. The hard read and a JV2. The most unsafe of heal slides coming in from uh, Masato. Light was looking for that 100%. A quick little jump cancel up smash will take the stock off Masato at a fairly early percent of 99. We're going into game two. Are we going to see another 2-0? Oh, we've been seeing 2-0s all just like that. Rapid what? fire 2-0s today. Right. And it's just, it's been so difficult, I think, for Masato to just get, like, his foot planted on the ground. I just saw that, that first stock where he was in disadvantage the entire time versus light. 
and I think this is where I'm um, not sure Masato has a lot of fox experience either. Right, and that's there the really thing. there's very few notable foxes in New York. On, in Long Island, well, besides the Kill Sage, obviously. Besides the, oh yeah, of course, uh, besides the Kill Sage. No but disrespect towards him. On Long Island in general, it's, we really don't have the best representation of fox. We do have a lot of foxes, but on the level of light, I don't think we come anywhere close. Oh, to nowhere near. He would. I honestly think he would wash them. Just, and no, no disrespect to you know the home, the homegrown scene, but. New York has a lot of representations of clouds, yep. bayonettas, Donkey Kongs, uh, cheeks? Question mark? Or would it be just Vinny? In Long Island, I wouldn't say so. But nice little bit of witch time here from Masato. Gonna get a whole lot of damage. Are we gonna see this? Nice little bit of damage right there. Down air gonna allow him to get back to the ground safely. Ooh, nice little tech read there by Masato getting two up airs, almost three that Nair gonna be able to trade right before it gets there. Nice back air getting off stage. Are we gonna see these have? Oh Ooh. wow, just barely missing that ledge grab. Ooh, trying fair. to get the drag down with the fair. Not quite in time yet. Almost getting that air dodge with the back air. Nice we tech from Light. We those, boys. Let's go. Light is absolutely incredible at teching. And I remember commentating one of his doubles matches, and he teched simply every single option that came out. He's PR'd, right? Uh, in the state of Connecticut, I believe so. Yeah, or in, in, in New England. That's why he's a PR New England player. Fox's up here is insane, too. They, again, they do a very clean 60% um, unstaled. However, dash tech right there for Masato. He's going to be able to get the edge guard a little too low. He goes. A tech? Ooh. Oh, Masato, and no! With that unfortunate SD set point for Light now. And Light knows you taunt as soon as they SD. A little bit of tilt factor coming in. He's saying, here I come. He's going to do a whole lot of damage in, in, in the second stock for extra credit. He knows, really, is un completely unfortunate the way that Masato went down. And he's going to take advantage completely of it. Just adding insult to injury here. Really making it so difficult for Masato on the ground. All these tech tech situations with up tilt and, bat and um, those uh, drag down fares. And that's one thing we, I don't. I, I don't think. We oh see my! Enough. Almost double hit check. Um, pivot F tilt. An incredible play. Missing all the text in Masato. Up smash. And the air it. dodge read. That was absolutely an insane stock by Light. I don't think he took a single bit of percent. I might have been a zero to death. Jeez. But one thing you were saying earlier though, that I would like to touch upon is tilt factor in the smash in Smash Four. As an FGC guy, I see a lot of. I'm known for taunting. You can ask T Mags right there. I'm known for taunting. I'm known for, you know, getting in your head and messing with you. I want to be that guy in Street Fighter and all those FGC games. That you got where you run into me, you don't want to play me ever no. again. Not again. I feel like we don't see that enough in Smash. I feel like the villain scene in Smash 4 is substantially weaker than the likes of, like, say, F Champ. Uh, I think that, like, we kind of saw a little bit of, like, villainy. I think, like, Captain Zack was considered a villain for quite some time. I don't think there's much so now. I, mean, I would never. Because he has his fans. Because he has his fans. No, but he also has people Zach's that really not, don't like him either. Zach's not. It's not that I don't like Zach. He just. Compared to what I've seen, there was this one thing where F Champ, he was playing this guy in a first of 15, and he, like, he destroys him. He stops the set mid set, grabs the mic from, uh, like, the announcer. He goes up in his face, like, this is my game. And then <laughs> in between every game, he would, like, tap his shoulder, like, this. What happened? Do you still want to go? Yeah. <laughs> That's a villain. But, I, like, there really aren't that many villains in Smash. Like, I, I don't like when people consider Anti villain. Anti just doesn't really care. No, Anti's not a villain. Not Anti, at all. Anti's a homie, yo. He beat Low Tier God on stream. He did. He bodied Low That's the that reason why. That was funny. That's that why was, Low Tier God's Twitter got suspended. That was w one hilarious. Shout outs to Anti. Hilarious. Oh, no, that dude. whole Twitter interaction was one of the funniest that I've ever seen. I think that was the few moments where, besides Evo, where the FGC and the Smash scene kind of bonded together. Yeah, it was like... like even you guys know like, how much we you're like, a I mean, bad look, person. I, I, I have nothing personally against Low Tier God because I'm not, I'm not too familiar with the FGC scene outside of Smash. I want to get into it. I want to at least start like spectating more so than I do now. I think... Cause well, the hey, you have me right here. <laughs> the, the, sma the Smash scene, I think, is, no is kind of... We're known for like not giving... A, a darn about like the other ones and I want to it's just I feel like I don't know a lot of smashers really don't just don't want to go into other fighting games I feel like a lot of smashers don't want to go into fighting games just because this is no disrespect to the smash scene I feel like smash is a lot easier to get good at than something super technical like Ultra Street Fighter 4 or Tekken 7 Guilty Gear Blaz Blue I think also Marvel. it's just so different it's because I don't think there's any like fighting game that's really plus a lot of base top, like smash anyway a lot of top smash players don't even know frame data like they know basics like oh this comes out like mad early but they don't really know like the super in-depth things like you have to know for games like Tekken and Street Fighter. Uh, well, again, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think the last matches are very good at other fighting games. Um, oh yeah, there are. Case in point, Anti um, is actually I think he's a platinum Ken player, which he has my respect for because mm -hmm. you know Shoto fan for life. Um, the buzz actually, crazily enough. Injustice, um, right? He told no. Me about well, yeah, Injustice. he does play Injustice. 
He was a top PlayStation All Stars player back in the day. We got really we got Shion yeah. again and Masato. So Claude Bayo battle battle of the two best DLCs. Five ninety nine wins you brackets. Uh, and we're going I, right into Smashville Starterville. You know how it is here at Aeon Gaming. All the time we start here. However, this is a losers bracket match coming up here. So and this is a, this this you would consider this a losers bracket. You consider this a hype grand final set. But yeah, this pool is just insanely stacked. Yeah, that's what it is here at um Alpha. Just all these incredibly stacked pools with incredible talent in them, making it so difficult really just to get out to begin with. I think Zion is, is the fifth seed in the pool. Masato being the fourth. Um. And here we go. All right, see, this is where Masato knows. Masato plays with me, Soul Arts, Ipo, and Ipo a lot. I know he plays with other clubs. I really, I can't name them off the top of my head. I'm assuming he plays. I, I'm assuming he plays Ralphie too, just because players of that caliber should definitely be practicing. The, the, um, but Masato has a ton, and I mean a ton of cloud matchup experience. He plays. He gets a sample of all these different styles of cloud, and he's just able to culminate it into like, all right, I think I know what he's going to do there, and he can definitely make some hard callouts. Right, and actually, recently at the last Zeno, oh, nice little call out there by Zion, just barely missing it. However, uh, ooh, nice air, it. nice little air dodge train trap right there. And what I was saying earlier is actually recently, I know uh, yesterday Masato ended up losing to Ralphie, but it, at Zeno recently beat Ralphie in the winner's bracket. He got ninth at Zeno yes. this week. Which, trust me, the not out on that Zeno especially, that is no slouch of a placement at all. Ninth place at a Zeno, I think there was like almost 80 entrance. Absolutely incredible. Good job to Masato. And it's like, Masato's making moves, man. He's definitely he's been a hidden boss on the island well for a year. Yeah. Oh, I remember I ran into him. Uh, our high school does a local tournament and stuff. Right? Amazing cross rush call out by Sion and gets it. And but as I was saying, right off the side, we there. meet at a tournament and like he just seemed like the average like run of the mill player. Like I was like, I, I was friends with all the kids that were running. They're like, yeah, like we put you the first seed. It was a really bad tournament. Yeah. Garbage. And like I play him, he steamrolled me. Yeah. He sent me to losers bracket and then I got double jeopardy by him. And you know what? I lost so bad to where I was happy I lost because I had to, I was able to play a, somebody who was leagues upon leagues above me, which is a really strong way to improve in any fighting game. Right. And I think what we're seeing here is just how well Masato can control the neutral and just really wait for you to throw out the option before he has to throw anything out. Ooh, really close right there. Just fast forward just past the ledge. Masato is known for being an extremely patient bayonet player. Very reactive play style. Yes. Are and an up air? Not yet. That cloud limit helping him out a little bit. Alright. Ooh, waiting for the jump there. Wasn't Masato not gonna be able to get the punish, however. And this is still scary. Cloud with all this rage. Ooh. And limit. Just a couple more hits, really. Oh. He has, he has to burn limit. Masato just running away. One thing I feel like Cloud does have that I don't see a lot of Clouds utilize is the fact that Limit is so pressuring on the opponent. Limit forces your opponent to charge. And if it's a Bayonetta and they're flustered at a high stakes like this, one accidental side B can lead into so much and even the game. But the up air from Masato taking it. Right, right after that up B, that little confirm, only getting the first hit. That slight knockback, just enough to take um that, that Cloud. I keep saying Chion. 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 I did not play Kingdom Hearts. I'm, I'm, I'm like... I, mean, I feel so bad because like everyone has played Kingdom Hearts, and I just still have yet to do it. Kingdom Hearts is the goat. Yeah. Real talk, Kingdom Hearts is the goat. But you know that Crash Bandicoot remake, though. Ooh, I'm actually excited for that. It came out already. It came out yesterday. Did it? I got it. Oh yeah. wow! I'm running. Uh, I'm probably running to GameStop tomorrow to pick it up. Oh nice. I'm actually again like I didn't grow necessarily grow up with the games, but I grew up watching them as from a young age. So I was definitely definitely excited to come back and actually like replay a game like that especially in like the way you remember it too yeah all right we're going into game two on fd this stage definitely helps out that stage definitely gonna help out misato right. again i'm surprised the counter here from zion this is notably one of cloud's worst stages all the way off stage there and now in the air a heel slide almost to getting him right back up into the air i feel like this is i feel like this is a player comfort zone because some players because it, it is a fact that some players like to play on stages that they that their character necessarily doesn't have the best matchup in, but they'll take it. Like, look at Mango in Melee. He picks stages that are known as bad for Fox and Falco just because he likes them. Right. I think it could very well just be a stage preference right here. For, um, Chion and he's... Chion. God. I'm so awful. But anyway, but he's just... Blade being able to rack up, tack on some damage, give him a percent lead. And here we see a bit more patient play. 
Charging limit, be, ma making Masato forced to approach. Right, and these Witch a little bit questionable by Masato. You know, a little bit too predictable in his approaches with it. However, ooh, almost getting that up air to uh, up, to up air right there. Are we going to see a call out here? Yeah, get Masato with a low shield. Yeah, they just run away, let that shield recharge, but the call out on that with side cross slash. In. Nice little cross slash. Because again, Bayos are known actually for trying to call out other people's jumps with that side B coming in. And it was a little bit delayed there from Masato, and he's going to get side before it. But Masato is still in it. Wow. On Air dodging into the second and third hit of cross slash. I'm surprised we didn't see it again there from uh, Xion. Are we going to see an up air take it? Yep. Oh, wow. That up air just in range of that um, of Cloud during limit. All right. And now here we go. Reset neutral. Scary situation here. Masato with a chance for the edge guard. That's it. Air dodge read. Air dodge read. Oh. Not, not it yet. I think that may have very well been a miss input, a C stick nair potentially, instead of a C stick fair in that situation. Because a C stick fair, or rather a fair there, would have absolutely taken the stock. No good, no more, no days like miss input days. And it really it can be costly, especially against a character like Cloud. That all bear still not taking it. still saving him. That's a couple times you said already that Limit has helped them survive off the top right there. Limit is too good in this game. Jesus. Jesus. Fair. Camp it. I think you should camp. I feel like Masato should be camping a little bit more with bullets. Right, and it is the, the only issue with that is that on FD there's only so many places you can go. However, he is Are showing that this? Cloud has nowhere to go below him. Nice air dodge, but this next air dodge being able to take it. Up air. Oh, oh trying to go for the finishing touch. Masato, Masato with the fair, not taking it. Nice down smash by Xion. Okay, waiting for that air dodge or that finishing or that um witch time that he's been going for a little bit more often on landing. However, Masato smartly mixing up his landing option there. That's it. He should be dead? Nope. Wow, just barely getting back to the stage. And a nice roll a nice read. back air to take it. The roll read in. Nice back air indeed to get him all the way off the stage into that blast zone and to take the stock. Masato, I believe, will be moving again to into the round of 32. 32. There we go. Long Island. Lindy crew represent. And now who is this step? 